What is up guys? Welcome back to another GameStop video. We got some big things going on, especially some unusual options activity, which you will get into around the middle of the video. Now, the reason why I'm so obsessed with unusual options activity is because usually you got people with a lot of money, people who are pretty smart with a lot of fundamentals. They buy into these options, these long dated options that expire like nine, 12 months. And there's virtually no volume, meaning that people who bought it have no intention of selling it anytime soon. And they really hope that GameStop hits this astronomical price. If GameStop does, these contracts will be worth so much money that they will be raking in the dough. So right now, GME, it's looking pretty spicy. It's at $211 after dropping down to a low price of $116. And partially the reason why the stock is surging up so much is not only because the buy sell ratio is three to one during the massive 50% rally yesterday, but also GameStop started getting good fundamentals. Did you know GameStop started selling computer equipment? That's actually pretty big. Computer equipment like GPUs, motherboards, laptops, gaming equipment, memory cards, you name it. This is essentially like perhaps the next new egg or the next online Best Buy. This is why some individuals see this as a massive buying opportunity. They buy in not because they're hoping for a short squeeze or maybe they kind of are, but it's because you got Ryan Cohen leading like the board of directors. They fire like eight out of the 13 executives. They're literally doing a clean house here. They're trying to fire all the people who are not going for the digital stuff or maybe just having like some major new management changes. Because when you fire like the majority of your executives, something is definitely up. You want it to be transforming your company from a retail to more digital standpoint. And the reason why GameStop is managing to do this at this current moment is because share prices are so high and they recently got a lot of funding. Remember, when the share prices go up, the company gets more money. The whole reason why a company even goes public is to raise more capital because the only way people ever invest their company is, well, buying a share of your company. This is exactly what's going on. Short interest, it's going down 14 million to 10 million, meaning 4 million shorts bought back their shares and cover their positions. The shares float is the amount of shares that's tradable. There's 54.4 million, which is pretty decent, but 10 million shorts, well, yeah, it's still there. Remember, this war isn't over yet. People are still trying to short GameStop. This short interest fluctuates on a weekly basis. Obviously, I cannot get the most recent short interest. I can't get this tick by tick because I don't have a Bloomberg terminal. I can't spend $25,000 on that on a single year. That's just too expensive. But if you check out bar charts, it's super interesting. These options I will be showing you about GameStop are calls and they expire January around 2022. So within nine months. And the open interest is the amount of contracts being held in people's brokerage accounts. And volume is obviously the amount of contracts being bought and sold on a daily basis. So 2,200 open interest is enormous. If you check out all the numbers for the January 2022 calls, you clearly see the open interest is actually pretty low. And in fact, this is one of the most popular call options on all of January for next year. But guess what's really funny? The volume is also one of the lowest of all of January. That is huge. If you check out Robinhood for a better look, this is essentially a $9.2 million bet that GameStop hits $700 within nine months. That is pretty crazy. That's also something that's not unrealistic here. GameStop did hit almost $500. And we also still see another 10 million shorts floating around. On top of that, if you're also betting that GameStop does achieve their digital transformation and they does start selling more items, so they become more of like a Best Buy type of company, selling online goods, maybe more like eBay, something like that, maybe with Ryan Cohen's leadership, we could be seeing a company changing themselves around, possibly hitting $300, $400 on the company's fundamentals alone. And then the short squeeze happens and we hit $600, $700. If that does happen, these calls will make so much money. Remember, I have a feeling that the majority of the people who are buying these call options are probably really rich people or major institutions. I also don't think it's a hedge. A hedge is essentially when you short a stock, but at the same time, you buy a bunch of calls just in case the share prices go up. Institutions aren't stupid. They're not going to short something and not buy anything to hedge themselves. When you guys are shorting GameStop, you want to buy some calls just in case the GameStop explodes up because the apes simply are way too strong. 
but I don't really think institutions will ever buy calls that out of the money. They usually like to buy calls under $300, something that's pretty close to $200, which is the share price of GameStop. So this is super interesting. I don't really see this that often. This is something that doesn't really happen frequently. And I feel like, hey, who knows? Maybe some sort of a retail trader or some really rich guy is essentially buying a ton of these options. And they feel like this is probably a perfect chance for people to perhaps make more money. Now, if GameStop does hit $700, these call options would not be worth 9 million anymore. They'll probably be worth like 90, even 100 plus million dollars. I mean, this is a massive gamble, but the rewards are limitless. And on top of that, the implied volatility really isn't that bad. It's 141% compared to 200, 300% for the closer calls. Now, GameStop right now has extremely high premiums. And hey, if GameStop does manage to hit $700, massive amounts of money is coming in. Most people do not have the balls to buy GameStop above $300. It's way too risky. Look at the open interest for all these calls. They're virtually non-existent. Like literally no one owns the $610 call and only two people actually own the $620 call. But then suddenly you see this unusual options activity of 2,249 contracts being bought for the $700 call contract for next year, January 2022, it's just mind boggling that who bought this? Someone is betting massive amounts of money that GameStop goes up. So let's just see what happens. I'm super curious, especially the short interest is kind of trending downwards. But what's really scary is if the short interest started going back up again, if let's say people start shorting this, institutions start shorting this and it plummets and then the apes freak out and the apes start selling and the share prices drop even more, that's what I'm afraid of. That's exactly what happened during GameStop during the first massive rally from 17 up to 482, it went back down to 50 and $38. But now it's a lot different. I think there's a lot more stabilization. People seem to like a consolidation price. And the floor values for GameStop is roughly $120 and also $170. I think $170 is way more consistent right now since GameStop absolutely broke through the $200 mark. Now, if GameStop can manage to break the $220 mark, we could be seeing the stock price going all the way up because $220 has been a massive pain on GameStop for the past several days. I just see what happens, super curious, but just keep in mind that someone out there is betting a ton of money that GameStop goes up to $700, and it's most likely not a hedge because hedge funds do not buy option prices this far for the money. They used to buy ones that are a lot closer, maybe like $250, which is a little bit more realistic. But just the mere fact that these are the most popular call contracts for January of next year, and no one is essentially buying or selling, it's pretty sus to me. That's about it guys, definitely check out Coinbase, link in the description below, click on it, make a Coinbase account, deposit some money and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. It's literally free money here. And also definitely check out the free Discord server in the description below, 29,000 members and counting. And there's also an exclusive private Discord server where me and the admins, we do a ton of different options plays. So definitely trade with us, it's pretty awesome. Subscribe.